Okay, so this is the second bit of the tutorial. This is where we come in and add the screen background of Edward Munch. But the very first thing we have to do, there was one little bit that I've missed. And what we need to do is come over here. So we select this button here that looks like a finger pressing on something. And that's called the smudge tool. And what we want to do is kind of smudge this. So can you see how it all kind of comes in a little bit? So what we're doing is we're just stretching this out a little bit to really bring the face in. So you can bring it in as much as what you want. And just push it out how you want it to. So be careful you don't touch the eyes though because otherwise, see if I do this, they go a bit funny. So let's undo that. We'll bring the mouth down out a little bit more just to make it look even more funny. So I'm pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good. I'll just bring these arms down a little bit. Okay, so now we've done that, we want to add a background. So we come up to File, and again, we want to place a background. So that should be on your desktop, like I said at the beginning, and we go to the Scream JPEG. That's what we want to pick just here, and we want to place that. So here it is. Now, you can't really see your face, so we, what we want to do is this layer needs to come under this layer. So if you just select it, actually, no, first what we have to do is get rid of these little lines. So to do that, all we do is press Enter, and then they've gone. Now we can start working on it, but we want to change these layers around. So if you just grab that layer and drag it so it fits in there, and that way the face layer is on top. But we want to make sure that it is still highlighted. So if we bring this up a little bit, see how it's not actually fitting into the A4 piece of paper? So to fix that, we go to Edit and we want to go to Transform. We want to go to Free Transform, not Transform, Free Transform. Now these little lines will come up. And if we hold the shift button down, we can drag it out. I'm pretty happy with that, so I'll just press enter. Now we want to do, we've got the background in, we want to go back to the face. So if we go up to this layer, to the face, and we want to move it around, that looks pretty good to me. I want to get rid of this though because it doesn't really blend in. So to do that, we're going to go back to the eraser and we're going to start rubbing it out. So the eraser's over here. It's a little bit small, otherwise I'll be here all day doing that. So we'll come back up to here. We'll choose a hard-ed brush this time because we don't need to blend it. We just need to get rid of it. So that looks pretty hard. And we'll bring the size up. Keep bringing the size up. That looks pretty good to me. We'll start rubbing this out. So see how you can still kind of see it? It means the opacities. So we'll change it to 100 to make it pressing really hard and getting rid of all of the face, all of the body. So we're just coming in here. I'll just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm getting rid of all of this. It's good to take your time and be nice and careful because you don't want to do all your work and then ruin it. So I come in there. I want to get rid of all my shirt so it looks like I'm wearing the screams clothes. I'll just come in here and I'll grab the smooth brush now just to blend that in. 
Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Blend it in a bit. Cool. So if we just move this around, if we go edit, free transform, we can move it how we want to. So I want that hand to line up there. And if I want to get rid of this square now, I'm happy with that position, I'll just press enter. But I think that looks a bit funny, so I'm just going to grab the eraser tool again. And grab that that hand. I'll make this eraser a little bit smaller in size so I can get in here and get rid of all of that. There we are. Sometimes just have a look and make sure there's a little bit here that hasn't been rubbed out. So we'll just rub that out there. So that's my screen. There we are. So what you can do is if you want your face to be a bit bigger, you just go up to edit, free transform again. And you can, if you hold down the shift button while you're doing this, it all moves in proportion. See how it's kind of all moving in proportion? If you don't hold down the shift button, see how it gets fatter and bigger? So you can do either way. I kind of might stretch it up a little bit. So I won't hold down the shift button. And that looks pretty good. So I'll press enter because I'm happy with that. And that is your scream done. Ah! Just kidding.